Hello everyone, this is Mitch, and welcome, as promised, to my new series on Kerbal Space Program. So what are my goals? First of all, this is going to be a tutorial Let's Play, so I'm going to try to cover everything to get you started uh, from the first time you start playing Kerbal Space Program to going almost anywhere in the Kerbal Universe. To do this, I'm going to show you both the vehicle assembly, so the engineering and designing of the spaceships, but also the important parts of the missions. Although, most likely, if I don't have anything to explain, I may skip the trivial parts of missions. Although, don't worry, you won't miss anything important. Now, in the beginning, everything is fast and relatively simple. So probably the episodes will contain both the engineering and the missions, and maybe even more than one mission. But later on, where missions get longer and more complicated, I will probably split uh, the designing of the spaceships and the vehicle assembly from the actual mission. So if you prefer watching one rather than the other, well, you're free to do that without inconvenience. Other than that, well, my goals for the series would be to have at least a mission to uh, every celestial body in Kerbal Space Program, maybe not a return mission, but at least a mission uh, everywhere in the system. And I would also probably like to showcase uh, making a space station outside of Kerbin Influence, the home planet. Now, before we even get into the game, I'd like to show you what mods I'm going to be running. For most part, it's going to be stock. As you can see, this is my game data folder. And all that's in there is mostly visual enhancements, with the exception of um, Kerbal Engineer, which uh, basically gives you information about your spaceships. Uh, there are other options out there, but Kerbal Engineer is the one that is uh, least invasive. So for most part, this is going to be a stock experience. The only thing Kerbal Engineer really does is uh, keep you from having to do all the math to make sure that your spaceship can get to orbit or can get to whatever planet or that if, if it'll even get off the ground. So yeah, most players won't even play without that mod installed. The next thing you'll want to help you play this game is a Delta V map. It basically tells you how much fuel and thrust your ship needs to get from point A to point B. So here's the one I've been using. So if you look at the map, for example, at the bottom you've got Kerbin, which is the own planet, and you can see it's written 3400 before between it and the first circle. This means you will need 3400 meters of acceleration, meters per second, uh, to get from the ground, from a complete stop, to orbit. And then if you follow the branch right, for example, you have the uh, acceleration needed to get on the same level as one of the moons of Kerbin, one of the satellites, uh, to get in the same orbit, kind, the, the same plane. Then you have the uh, acceleration needed to reach uh, Minmus, and then you have the uh, acceleration needed to slow down and get into orbit of Minmus without being uh, ejected back on the other side. And the final number is the number, the acceleration you need to go from orbit to slow down and land safely. You can easily find a map like this on Google, you just need to type uh, Kerbal Space Program Delta V Map as it is on the screen and you'll find a picture like this, like mine. Just make sure it's up to date. If there are any significant changes to Kerbal Space Program, the values may change. And last but not least, um, there is a website uh, when you're ready to make missions to go outside of Kerbin. Uh, this website will tell you when you can launch your spaceship and expect to reach your destination with the minimum amount of fuel. You don't need to make it super precise, but the more precise, uh, the more fuel you will save. So this is it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to start the career and explain all the options, the space center and all that. So if you think this is a series you're going to enjoy, please like and subscribe. If you have comments and suggestions, please write them in the sections below. This was Mitch. See you next time.